What's up everybody, it's Mike, or Fair Game Mike here, and I purchased the Elgu Jupiter, and these are going to be my first thoughts, and kind of like a mini review. I don't want to give it a true review, because we'll get into that. So, you guys already can see, I need to shave, like, this is getting crazy. Uh, and I'm not like those typical YouTubers, right, getting a shower, getting all pretty for you guys. Um, maybe I should, actually, though, because, like, man, I'm... Ooh, looking a little rough when I look right in here to the camera. Um, anyway, so my first thoughts on the Elgu Jupiter. This thing is a beast of a machine. We'll kind of, I'm going to go over, walk through everything that I kind of like actually showing the Jupiter. Um, but as of right now, it is out of commission. So I did go ahead and pick it up for the Black Friday sale. Normally it's 1300 bucks, Crazy price, I know. I sold my Hot Toys Anakin, my Hot Toys Obi-Wan, and a few other Hot Toys that I had. I'm kind of getting away from Hot Toys going into statues as you can kind of see here um and 3d printing a whole bunch of stuff so currently i'm working on a project a at at it's supposed to be about 20 inches tall craziness and that's actually part of my first print on the elegoo jupiter however there is a little problem with the elegoo jupiter on my screen it came uh, i think it came okay i didn't notice anything on my first print or two uh, but after when I did four pieces for this ATAT -AT on the next part, one of them didn't pr quite print right. Caused me to do a, a kind of like a vat cleaning um, where if anyone has 3D printed before, you know that you can click this vat clean button and the whole bottom layer will get cured and you just peel that out and the FAP good, good to go. Um, I tried that and there's this little hole on it about the size of a nickel that just did not cure. So I was getting a little curious um I, after that i dumped out all my resin into a bottle uh or into the bottles right cleaned out the vat and then i took out the vat and i recorded the screen you don't want to really look directly into the uv light you don't want to damage your eyes um so you got to be careful i put on my glasses my uv glasses and i went to look to see if there was any issues with the screen so there was about a what do you know, the size of a nickel where the screen was not uh, illuminating any sort of UV light. So I contacted Elegoo and this is where things actually get really good. Elegoo said, hey, we'll send you a new screen, perfect, right? So I'm still currently waiting for that. So I can't give my full thoughts on the Elegoo Jupiter quite yet, um, but it has shipped. Um, I believe that was last Thursday it actually shipped, which was actually Thanksgiving, so I'm, I'm probably going to be waiting on that for a little bit. Last I checked, it was still in the shipper's warehouse, which is coming from China, which is also going to be quite a while. However, they also offered me three kilograms of resin or three bottles of resin, you know, the bigger ones, the thousand, um, the thousand gram bottles. Uh, so I got three of those and they, they offered to me right away. They offered to them. And actually, like, as I got the Jupiter, I was like, this is a beast of a machine. I thought, you know, maybe it's too much for me. So I was thinking about getting the Saturn. Uh, the Saturn II, I believe, is the newest one. It's an 8K instead because I have the Saturn S and I love it. Um, so I asked them, like, hey, well, instead of going through this process, I'll keep the Jupiter, but can you give me also a $100 refund? They gave it to me. So I'm completely satisfied. No complaints here. Great customer service from Elgu. So... Honestly, going forward, all my machine, machines will probably be Elgu unless there's some killer deal or something that I really want, like uh, the Frozen Sonic Mega 8K. I know that thing is like one of the best 3D printers, so maybe in my future if I ever got that far um, and I had the money for that, right? Because that is a crazy expensive printer. Um, you know, other printers I've seen like the Lenant, but so far Elgu has treated me right. So there's really no reason for me to go any other direction if I had to buy an FDM printer. I've seen that their Neptunes are really good as well. So that's probably the route I'll go if I need one. So that's just my experience so far. They sent me, it, it's been great. They And the resin they sent me was not, I already got that. Um, so they shipped it on Thursday. I got it this Monday, this last Monday. Um, and it was the 8K water washable resin. That stuff is 40 bucks a bottle on Amazon, so I'm not complaining. I thought they were just gonna send me some cheap, old, like gray resin. I would've been fine with eco resin, but they sent me like, cause that's what I use. I do use eco resin or I have been using that. Um, but they sent me their, their nice stuff. So I, I have no complaints. Um, you know, I really did start regretting buying the Jupiter cause of all the, the problems I had with the screen. But honestly, that hundred dollars, that goes a long way, right? So I basically got the machine. Uh, if you subtract the price of resin, really, I got it even cheaper, but I got it for 900 bucks. 
Um, I mean, I can't use it for the next little while. I thought about trying to use it on the screen where that little nickel piece is not there. Um, or the little, like, where it doesn't cure, just don't put anything around that. But I think that might cause more problems, and then I have to take everything out and still put the screen in when it comes. So I've just been waiting on the screen, and I started printing some pieces on uh, for my at, -AT project on my Saturn S. So I'll kind of go ahead now and walk you guys through the Jupiter, what my real thoughts on it and are. Um, so far, at least, right, it's, it's kind of out of commission, but um, going forward... Hopefully I can use it. I, I plan on using this thing a ton to print stuff, especially like one piece bust. I went and see some wicked 3D prints. You can print almost a full body one fourth scale on it for their bust. So I might be printing some of those soon, taking a break from at, -AT But as soon as I get that stuff going, right? As soon as I can get this back up to commission, I want to finish my at, -AT as quick as possible. So, um, but let's get into it. I've been babbling on. But guys, Elgu, great customer service. So if you guys are like a little leery because it's coming from China uh, and a lot of the complaints for like any cubic I've seen are their customer service, Elgu took care of me. There was no complaints. They re responded to me relatively quickly, right? They're in China, so it was kind of like an overnight thing, but I would wake up in the middle of the night, see I got a message or an email from them. I would respond and they would respond like just like an hour later if it was in the middle of the night. But Ooh, excuse me, no complaints, guys. Excellent customer service. Um, and really when you like Google it and stuff, people do say they have pretty good customer service and they offer me everything right up front. And then I just, I maybe I was a little greedy, but I did ask for the hundred dollars and they gave it to me. So I, like I said, absolutely no complaints whatsoever about their customer service. And hopefully the screen comes out good. We hook it up. So I'll send it, I'll probably post another video, just me hooking it up, making sure it works. Um, and then going over the real final thoughts on the Elgu Jupiter. But let's go ahead and show you guys that fantastic machine and my setup I have currently with the Elgu Jupiter. All right, guys, so here is my setup. You can see my reflection in the mirror for my Elgu Jupiter. I have my Saturn S right there. I have it on this heavy duty steel shelf. Um, actually ended up being about the perfect size. I took out one of the shelves and I set this up. Um, here you can see this is the resin, if you guys were wondering specifically. I'm not wearing any gloves, by the way, because I haven't opened this or done anything with this. Um, so this is the resin that they sent me for free. Um, so yeah, the AK Space Gray, water washable. I've never used water washable, so I get to try it out. Um, but here is the Elgu Jupiter 6K in all of its glory. Oh, you can see the mess I have in the background. Don't worry about that. Uh, anyway, but yeah, so I'm sorry to set this up. Um, getting into the machine, you can see the vat here. The vat is massive. Um, I was actually taken aback by it once I first opened it. Um, also as well, this is a heavy, like this thing is heavy. I could barely lift it up here by myself. Um, the door, I actually quite like it. So that way, um, I mean, it's just secured instead of like opening a lid, like on the other printers. I really, if you think about it, if you're taking off this lid, You'd have to reach as high as the Jupiter here. I mean, these are not the same level, but it probably it takes up less. You probably need less clearance here with the Jupiter, actually, when it's all said and done to take off that lid. Um, I guess depending if you take it straight up. But I'm babbling on here. Uh, you can see with the Elgu Jupiter, um, they actually have a little like section here where you could put like an exhaust fan. Um, they also have where in the USB port, if you're going to put a fan in, um, that's something that you can do. Elgu says they're, you know, they sell their little USB charcoal fans. Really, this is in my garage. I don't find it necessary. They did send me or put one in the box with the Elgu Jupiter. So I'll probably end up hooking it up anyway. But, and then, but eventually I'm probably going to have this fully enclosed, have an exhaust go right out to my garage. Because guys, you can never be too safe. Um, working with resin, yes, is it like looking at everything, they really just classify it as a irritant. Um, if you're not in some sort of like airflow heavy place, if I have my garage door closed, I am in Arizona, so it's still kind of warm. Um, so I don't really need to do like, I can open my garage, I can crack my garage, but I don't want to have my garage cracked all the time just for obvious reasons. Um, but you guys can see here, Oh, and that's also why I'm not wearing a respirator while I'm going over this. I, you know, I, it's, I don't have anything currently printing. So, 
Um, looking at all of this, you can see here, this is the screen. You can kind of see here where that little nickel circle is at. Um, and that's where there's no light coming through. So uh, overall, I think the printer is a beast of a machine. The few prints that I did get on it have turned out fantastic. And actually, let's go over here. Kind of got a mess everywhere. But these are the legs that I printed with them. So all... Almost, I printed three of them at the same time, and then the fourth one was a fail. I printed the other one on my Saturn S, uh, which all the prints came out fantastic, so I can't really complain so far. Um, I guess not all of them, you know, that's how I found the fail. Uh, but Beast of a Machine, build plate is crazy huge. I just don't have it out right now. It's still in the styrofoam, uh, but it's massive. I'm really, this is, like I said, this is just my initial thoughts. I'm really happy with it um, so far. Once I get the screen, I've seen that you just pop this front off with all these screws. You unplug it, plug it back in, it goes right in. Seems simple enough. So let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions, I can try to answer them. Like I said, I haven't been fully fledged getting into it yet, um, just because I haven't been able to use it too often. But I plan on using this like every single day. So hopefully it turns out great. Um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. If you guys have any questions, if you guys are looking at any Elgu products or anything like that, if you want my opinions, please comment down below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm really trying. Maybe we can have 400 subscribers by the end of the year. Who knows? But I really appreciate you guys tuning in, seeing my first initial thoughts. If I babble too much, let me know. Constructive criticism is welcome. But again, guys, I hope you have a fantastic week and a wonderful rest of your day.